So a few weeks ago, I did a video um, about a report that came out in the New York Post where uh, they were talking about how Subway is calling an emergency meeting uh, with the franchisees to discuss uh, sales plummeting. Um, Subway wouldn't call in an a, a, an emergency meeting but um there are sources saying that yes this was an emergency meeting because they wanted to discuss why sales were going down and what they can do to help improve it so obviously they, they were coming up with ideas where you know uh how they would like instead of you know they would give a uh, a reduction in their in their foot long subways right they will bring it down to like under 10 bucks or whatever it was and you don't just see this with subway there's a lot of fr um, franchises restaurants um, fast food restaurants that are also struggling when it comes to sales um, like McDonald's and they're trying to change the price of their value meal just to get people inside their stores and spending money because a lot of people aren't spending money so they came up with a bunch of gimmicks uh, to get people in there so they had this this little emergency meeting to discuss like what they can do, and is this and now and now there's another report, um, talking about how um, franchisees are rebelling against the value meal over concerns it will spark losses. So first they had that emergency meeting to discuss things, and there was a lot of people, a lot of franchisees that didn't like the idea. And now you come up with a report here on the Daily Mail where it says Subway franchisees are rebelling against the value, uh, the value mill deal over concerns it will spark losses. And it's crazy because you hear how you hear if you listen to the media they talk about how the economy is going well right things are going well inflation rate is going down um stocks are going up and you would think that everything is good in terms of recession but a lot of people don't even uh, don't believe that right they people a lot of people still have this fear that the recession is coming things are, are going to get worse and and obviously no one knows but you know this is the this is the feeling that a lot of people get and you, you of course you saw in the jobs report where they overestimated the the jobs report by over what, 800 thousand. so you can't even trust the data that's going out there but when you look at you know what businesses are doing you see like businesses shutting down they're they're obviously struggling when it comes to sales it gives you an idea like where the state of the economy and this is something obviously we should all prepare for regardless of we're in a economy uh, a recession or not you want to make sure that you're you're in a position where um if things do get tough that you 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 make you you can um you can get through the weather you can weather through that storm right obviously making sure debt is you eliminate debt make sure you got your income is stable so you can get through this so so back to the article. So it says Subway franchisees rebel against the value meal deal over concerns it will spark losses. So what are they saying? They say, all right, so franchisees are revolting against Subway's new value deal over uh, fears it will spark losses. Uh, the chain has launched a $6.99 foot long sandwich deal, which is set to run until September 8th. Right, and a bid to lure uh, and cash uh, strap consumers. But Bill Mathis, a chair of North American Association of Subway Franchises, has reportedly told the, uh, the group's member to ignore the promotion. So you got this guy, Bill Mathis, who's, who's chair of North uh, Association of Subway. He's telling guys in that, in that area, in that region, don't even, don't even worry about that deal. All right, like don't just ignore it. Right, you sell, sell the, the foot long for whatever price that you can and, and just ignore that deal because it's crazy. Because Subway doesn't even own any of these friends. They don't own these franchises, right? Um, they make their money basically off the royalties, right? They pay the, each franchisee owner um, pays royalties to uh, Subway each month. So um, whether these, so it's whether these franchises make money or not. I mean, Subway doesn't really matter as long as they're getting their royalty money. That's how they're they're making their deals. So of course, if you're a franchisee owner, you're like, all right, look, I got to make sure I'm making money. So this this promotion that you guys are or are offering or are wanting us to do, it's it's gonna incur we're gonna incur losses. So we don't want to do it. So you got that guy Bill Mathis saying, just just ignore it because it doesn't make sense to you. Make sure you're making money so you do what you have to do. So. I mean, look at it, I, I, that makes sense, right? Because if if I gotta pay you royalties every month, I gotta make sure that I'm making money. Because whether if I go out of business, whether I'm making money or not, you're still getting your money, Subway. So um, I, I, it makes sense. So it says if your franchise franchise uh, agreement allows. Do not participate in the 699 promotion. Mathis urged franchisees in a private blog post seen by the New York Post. Um, um, NASF is advising to opt out. So yeah, if, 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 if franchisees are allowed to not participate in this, he's saying just don't do it. So he said the group is the largest in the U.S. representing around 2,500 franchisees who operate approximately 10,000 Subway restaurants nationwide. 
Uh, it says the franchises uh, for most of the Subway restaurants in the U.S. have contracts that were signed prior to 2021 and allowed them uh, to opt out of promotions, the New York Post reported. I uh, said so in the blog post, uh, Mathis took aim at Subway's management under CEO John uh, Chidzi and uh, questioned how franchisees would be able to break even with this promotion. Uh, typically, franchisees charge between $11 and $17 for a foot-long sub. Uh, the $6.99 Subway deal is the latest in a series of uh, value meals deals introduced by major chains such as mcdonald's and burger king this year so yeah you see mcdonald's burger king they're all implementing these these value deals to get more people into their stores uh, to get more foot traffic traffic because less people are spending money and of course why are people spending less money obviously because the economy is not doing great okay i mean if 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 if, if, you're, if the economy is doing great then you got more people spending money so obviously they, they see these metrics and they see the data and they say all right less people are spending money because for whatever reason then and that obviously hurts their their bottom line so what they're going to do is implement these little value deals to get more traffic but for a lot of these franchises it doesn't make sense financially so they're like you know what why even do it if we don't have to so it says the nasf um has a variety of talented uh, members including those who are quite proficient with analysis of break evens mathis wrote in some uh, people's opinions the traffic lift needed to break even on this promotion is at as, as high as 30 uh, percent if if this is accurate or even half accurate have you have you seen any promotion that has brought to franchise brought to franchisees that kind of traffic lift from the current subway leadership group one franchisee with around 25 stores who is honoring the promotion said that 20 percent of the customers in one of his uh, busier locations ordered the 699 sub however he had the traffic in the same store uh was unchanged from a prior uh, a week prior mcdonald's doesn't put a big mac on his five dollar men uh, value menu but we put on all our best sub selling subs another franchisee told a uh, new york post we could we could do one third of or half of the menu and not be killed by uh by the promotion so this is the guy bill mathis um so they say right so the 699 deal was revealed to franchises last month during a conference call which one franchisee dubbed an emergency meeting according to new york post uh, fast food chains uh have suffered in the past year as inflation worry americans have eaten out less uh, but subway has been particularly particularly badly hit uh, with sales down between five to ten percent in some regions like me personally I, don't, I haven't eaten subway in years like it's probably been over like 10 years man. i had a bad experience with them so i haven't eaten them um for for a while so i don't even know like the quality of their of their subs but so it doesn't it, it doesn't surprise me but obviously the state of the economy things being more expensive people are prioritizing what they're going to spend money on and and if subway doesn't seem to be obviously subway is not a necessity uh people are gonna say you know what let me just you know instead of eating subway i'll make um some food at home which is which is smart it's going to save you a lot of money so it says the chain has closed locations in recent months and now has around 20,000 restaurants across the U.S. rather than the 27,000 in 2015. An invite, an, an invite uh, from the, the company sent to local store owners uh, said the corporation would explain uh, plans to, to win back customers and boost in faltering market share. The conference is essential. The invite viewed by the New York Post read, join us, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, so look, like regardless of whether we're in this recession or not, um, you, we all feel it when it comes to our, our, our pockets, our, our wallets, right? We, we understand that things are more expensive. And, and I think, I think for one thing people need to understand is this. For the best way to weather through this storm, whether it gets worse from, whether it gets worse than what it is right now, if you can eliminate debt, right? Make sure your income is stable. If you got an emergency fund, you got money on the side. Um, the, most, the most important thing is making sure you eliminate debt. Like it's it's much more difficult to weather through storms of time, when, difficult times when you're when you're strapped for cash. You're living paycheck to paycheck. If you can just eliminate the debt, um, uh, it makes it a lot easier to navigate through any type of um, economic downturns that come within within the, within our, our our society, our country. So. Um, so it's just interesting to see, like, it's always interesting to see what's going on with these companies, especially, you know, places like fast food where you would expect to get like cheaper food. Um, and, and you see that they're struggling for cash, um, struggling for sales, and they're, they're implementing all these different these value deals in order to get people into their stores. It gives you an idea like what's going on in the economy. So this is something to keep an eye out for. Um, you know, obviously these franchisees are like, you know what, we're not making money. So you know what, we're not going to implement some of these deals, especially if we, if we can avoid it. If we don't have to, then what's the point of doing it? I'm just going to keep selling uh, my, my subways for the same price that we always had and, and, and implement your own deal. So, so it's interesting to see that. Definitely something to keep an eye on, um, a lookout for. 
and see where this goes. So uh, definitely interested to hear your thoughts. Make sure you leave a comment down below. Hit the like button and share. And if you haven't done so, make sure you subscribe. All right, so guys, take care and have a good one. Later.